Hello everybody. So we are going to now play with the sonar bit and hooking it up to the Wukong expansion board that's having a micro bit. Right? Um, this sonar bit is a little different than others in that it's got three pins. A lot of them have four. And so there's a it it, it power and ground are the two of the obvious and then the most of the other ones have a trigger and an echo. This one works off one pin. Um, also, just to pay attention, some of them want three volts, some of them want five volts. I think this is a three volt. Um, some of them really don't work well on, on three volts, but this one's a three volt. All right, so we got this nice cable. We got these pins. It doesn't really matter which way you plug it in, what, what color goes to what, but we like to be consistent in that ground is black, power is um, red, and signal is yellow or orange, um, just for consistency. Get used to that. And then I want to plug it over here. I'm going to go pin zero. And as you notice, I have a motor plugged in uh, because it's going to. I'm going to have the sonar bit trigger a motor. Now that could be like automatic doors, an automatic gate, um, open or close, whatever you want, um, or an obstacle avoidance thing. So it, we're just triggering some event based on distance okay so let's go to the code so since we got a motor um if i was just like if i just had less some like neopixels and i was having distance trigger the neopixels um i could just use that straight from the micro bit i wouldn't actually have to use the wukong uh expansion board um so you don't have to have the wukong to do uh, the sonar it just makes it easier because the connections are easier without you know alligator clips so we have a Wukong board. So we're going to go get the Wukong extension. Um, boom. Because we got motor to run. Now the Wukong does motor. Does a little breathe lights. Does servo. And drops in a, a NeoPixel also. Because it's got some NeoPixels on there. Um, so motor. Uh, I like to initialize things. So on start, motor is going to be stopped. Am I plugged? Yeah, I'm plugged in the motor one. Okay, now sonar. We actually have to go get a special um, sonar. So like here's sonar. Here here is a sonar, and let's get that one. Boom. That's got pin two pin things. They want to trigger an echo pin. Ours only has one, so we've got to go get a special one, and it's on the Elect Freaks uh, wiki. That wiki goes through all sorts of uh, how to how to build things, how to code things. And it says you have to get that sonar block, which usually doesn't come up when you just search for sonar. Um, by github.com slash electfreak slash pxt dash sonar bit. Boom. There we go. So we've got this other sonar thing here. Um, and it's just got one pin. Awesome. There we go. Uh, millimeters. Now let's go centimeters. And am I on pin zero? Yes, I'm on pin zero. Okay. So what's going to happen? Uh, we need an if. We need an if. And we need some not some math. If, here's how we build this. The ultrasonic distance is, what do you want, greater than or less than? I'm going to go less than. Uh, do not go equal. <laughs> that rarely works, is less than 10. Let's pop it up here. If the ultrasonic distance is less than 10 centimeters, and we're on pin zero, then do something. Well, we're running motors, right? So let's uh, let's get the motor. Uh, set motor speed to 100. I'm going to go 50 just for fun. Um, and then there's this, this, this otherwise kind of thing. Else. Um, so let's have the motor speed be the opposite direction. Or we can have it be zero. doesn't really matter. Um, so if we get too close, let's turn the motor the other way. Basically is what we told it to do. And so the, the key things here is you have to go get that special um, block for this distance sensor. And then it's just some if-then statements. So we're going to download. So the motor's not going to run on three volts. So it's going to wait for us to uh, 
turn the whole turn the thing on. So now we're gonna turn it on. And the motor's running. Come on. Right? Now if we get, let's get in frame. If we get too close, and I'm just got my hand above it, it should go the other way. Now this was kinda it's kinda thinking. Okay, so I'm I back my hand away. And I'm coming down with my hand. Yeah, it's bouncing around. It shouldn't bounce around so much. Take my hand away. 10 centimeters is about the across the palm of your hand. It's getting reflection from somewhere possibly. So that's that's a distance sensor. Make it trigger something based on distance. That's all it is. This one's special because it's got three um, pins. So you need that special block. Otherwise, uh, and then pay attention to others. When you, if you, get the, you don't have to use this one. You could use other ones. That'd be fine. But they're going to use two pins. That, and that's fine because we've got lots of pins there. Um, do pay attention to if they're three volts or if they're five volts. They are HCSR04 is how I Google them and uh, look for them at Amazon. Um, ultrasonic distance sensor is another way. So that's playing with the distance sensor to make it trigger some events or multiple events based on chunks of distance. If I'm between 20 and 10, do this. If I'm less than 10, do this. You know, you got choices. So have fun playing with it.